Hi friends, welcome to Vic Tutorial. Here in this video, I'm going to teach you how to configure Live Mail, Microsoft Live Mail, or previously which was known as Hotmail, with our 2016 or 2013 version of Microsoft Outlook Office application. Okay, now let's see how to do it. First, we have to log into our email account through a web browser because we need to change some settings there okay here we can type www.hotmail.com or you can also type www.life.com both are same even if you type www.hotmail.com it will be redirected to the live.com mail okay now let us log into our email account Okay. okay once you have successfully logged into your email account on the top right side you can see a setting icon click on it and click on options after clicking options the mail option window will be opened from the left side pane you have to select pop and imap option click on it here as you can see here you can see that the pop setting pop setting access is disabled okay we have to enable it for that one you have to choose yes from the less devices and application use pop okay let's enable that one and now we have to save the changes okay click on save changes save okay now we have to make the page refresh here as you can see there is another option has been enabled once we enable the pop options devices and application that use pop can be set to delete messages from outlook after download i will explain about this option this option is now set as don't allow i will explain about this option while i am configuring the outlook options okay okay now we have to refresh our web page to check that our setting has been taken effect or not okay let's refresh our page okay wait until it loads again okay now it has been loaded and you can see the pop setting has been enabled and it is giving some options like server name port number and encryption method we have to remember these settings because we need these settings to configure outlook okay let me tell you which are the settings we need to remember while configuring outlook okay the first settings we have to remember is pop setting okay the server name and the port number and the encryption method the second thing is smtp setting same server name port number and encryption method now keep the window minimized for references and let us start configuring outlook okay click on start all programs okay now go to microsoft office 2013 or 2016 click on it now click on microsoft outlook 2013 or 2016 if we are starting microsoft outlook 2013 first time then we will get a windows like this click on next here you will be asked for add an email account click yes and click on next okay here as you can see auto account setup you can select manual setup or additional server types okay then click next here you can choose the server service type you can choose pop and imac and click on next here you have to fill the details manually in your name option you can put any desired name as your display name then you have to type your email address full email address okay then in the account set type you can select pop3 then here in the mail server option i have informed you earlier we have to remember some settings while configuring outlook okay let's take a look on that settings okay here are the settings pop settings and smtp settings okay so here as you can see the pop Mm, server name and smtp server name okay you have to remember these two and all these settings to configure outlook okay now let's type the mail server names 
in these columns as incoming mail server for dash mail dot outlook dot com okay then outgoing mail server smtp server as it is shown there smtp dash mail dot outlook dot com okay okay now let's type our username as our complete email address okay now let's type the password of our email here and then click on the option enable remember password then in the right side you can see a more setting option click on it here first the more setting option window has been appeared and here you have to click on outgoing server tab click on it and you have to enable my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication enable that option then click on advanced tab here we have to set the port numbers and encryption types of the incoming and outgoing servers we know these settings as I told you before to remember the pop settings and SMTP settings okay we have to enter the same values here like incoming server pop 3 server port number is 995 and the en uh, encryption type is SSL so enable the SSL encryption then also for the outgoing server SMTP port number is 587 type it and also the encryption type you have to tell select as TLS okay okay now let's take a look on the delivery option settings okay here as you can see the leave a copy of message on the server has been enabled and under that option there is an option also enabled remove from server after a particular days we can set these days according to the particular duration after the particular duration the original message will be deleted from the online server but right now outlook doesn't have the rights to delete any messages from the online server let's enable access for outlook to delete messages from the online server okay let us check how to do it for enabling these options again you have to go online and choose mail options and from mail options you can choose pop and imap options from there you can see there is an option right under pop options devices and apps that use pop can be set to delete messages from outlook after download in that options you can see right now it is selected don't allow devices and application to delete messages from outlook you have to change that option to let applications and devices delete messages from outlook that's it now outlook can access to our email server online server and delete the messages after a particular days as we set in the option if you don't want to keep any copy of messages on the server online server you can simply untick the leave a copy of messages on the server so while downloading the messages outlook will automatically delete the message copy from the server on the same time I want a copy of message on the server so I select this option and click OK. Now every setting has been configured then click on next. Now Outlook is trying to log into our mail server, incoming mail server or it's completed. Then second task Outlook is trying to access to our outgoing mail server. It will automatically test all the settings we configured or we provided. It's completed. So then click on close. Now click on finish button. Click finish. Now your outlook is starting. Just wait for it. Okay. Okay. Now we have successfully configured outlook 2013 to work with Microsoft Live Mail. As you can see here, there is no mail is shown. If you want to download the old mail which we have in the live online server, we can simply click on send receive button. Okay. Now let's see how to do it. Click on the send receive tab and in the left side you can see send receive. Click on it and you can see now Outlook has been started to receiving the messages from live server. And in the status bar here and down in the status bar you can see 
how many messages are going to be received and what are the sizes of that messages sure it will take some time okay let's outlook download the messages so thank you for watching my video if you like my video share my video and subscribe my channel and also let me know your comments thank you very much have a nice day